Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today let's look at some issues which you may encounter when installing Homebrew on your 3DS and how to fix them. You're watching the long awaited Quick Brew Episode 2. Shouting out our channel supporters, we have Alexandi1, Boxfish, Christian, The Gamer SK, Richard Smith, Norris Act, Robocop, Codex, Chuck Smith, Extreme Boy Plays, XGDD, and Lavish Mate. So a huge shout out and thank you to them. And by the way, for channel members, I'm still working on adding Discord rewards. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, don't worry. The link to my Discord server is down below. And if this video doesn't solve your issue, feel free to ask on my Discord server. But now, let's get started. You'll be pleased to hear that solving issues with homebrew is quite easy. And it all comes down to what happens when you launch Subwars, which should open Homebrew. So let's launch Subwars and you'll see what I mean. Hmm, a red screen. This one's simple. A red screen means the boot file is not on the SD card, or it's in the wrong place. So. Let's get a new boot file and put it on the root of the SD card. And there we go, problem solved. Let's move on to the next error. An error has occurred forcing the software to close. This one tells us there's an issue with the payload file. Make sure it's called payload and the extension is .bin. This file should be in the Steelhacks folder and this folder should be on the root of the SD card. Moving on to error number 3. When you open Subwars, it opens Subwars. This means you've updated the game by mistake, or you haven't overwritten the save data. To see if you've updated, open Data Management, Nintendo 3DS, Add-on Content, then delete the Subwars add-on content. If you don't have the add-on content, then you've made the other mistake. So get your save file and open up the Nintendo 3DS folder, then your ID0 number, then this folder, title, this folder, then the folder starting with 000D7, and then the data folder, and overwrite this save file with your new save file, and that should solve your problem. As for this error message, this one means the save data isn't there, or isn't named correctly. So check that you haven't deleted or renamed the save data by mistake. Now here are some other error messages which I couldn't reproduce, but here's the fixes for them. If Subwar says that corrupt save data has been deleted, then you've either chosen the wrong region when making your save file, or somehow used someone else's movable.sed file. Make sure to use the region which is on your 3DS's firmware version, E for Europe, U for USA, and J for Japan. For the next error, if you get a black screen, or get kicked back to the home menu instantly, then you've put the wrong information into your payload. Remember to enter your console's model, new or old, and your firmware version. If you're not sure if your 3DS is old or new, just look for the C stick. If you have a C stick, your 3DS or 2DS is new. If you don't have a C stick, choose old. And finally, for the best error, if you get a yellow screen, that means Homebrew just crashed. So don't worry, just try opening it again. So if you had any of these problems and got it solved, please let me know in the comments, because these mistakes do happen quite a lot. But now that your homebrew is working properly, 
you can now install Homebrew apps. I'll have two emulator Homebrew app videos linked at the end of this video, which is coming up now. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sardell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.